Uh, man, we just got to be humble, you know, um, just because we started uh, all five last year, that means we're not working hard still. Uh, we're all pushing each other, making each other better. And um, our expectations, man, just uh, taking a step further than what we did um, last year. For sure, just don't, uh, don't settle on what happened. You know, just keep it going. Um, Kel, uh, Silas is gone. You know, one of the leaders of the defense. Now you're going to assume that role. And, uh, you know, you have some big, big expectations for yourself this season. But talk about the leadership role. We know you're a vocal leader. How else are you going to lead this team? Uh, just by my actions and the way I play, I want everybody to follow me and just work hard and just keep on going and just talk and communicate because that's the key process for us to win a championship this year. Everybody has to communicate because Silas is gone and he was a big pro big part in that. So I think that would be a big help for us, just communication. Number one in the nation in four turnovers last year. Uh, how are you guys going to sustain that this year? Oh, uh, man, I think it's going to be – I think we're going to do it again. We have a lot of depth, actually, so we didn't have that last year, and I think that would be a big help. Everybody's going to be able to play faster, have a lot more people that get in and out, help us out, so we don't have to play as many plays. John, you got a different uh, variety of weapons this year. Uh, you guys have added some length to the receiver spot. Um, how do you think that will help the offense? It will really help a lot. We have a lot of depth. We have tall guys for – you know, end zone purposes and short guys to get quick and around out like the outside backers and stuff like that. So really just having a variety of weapons is a really big plus for us this year. And we're going to use every one that we can. Just compared to last year, familiarity wise with the offense, with the defense, do you, how, how much has communication improved as compared to last year at this time? It's improved tremendously. Everyone's just kind of on the same page and the ball's just really rolling down the hill now. and. We're just taking one day at a time and getting better each and every rep, and it's really showing off. Showing you guys feel up. like you're farther along at this point than you were last year? Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Especially knowing the plays and knowing the, the schemes and just knowing the background behind and the purpose behind everything we do. It's a lot better trusting our coaches, and everyone's just kind of on the same page. Ball can't feel like it's going by a little quicker. I'm just curious, just getting in a rhythm at this time of year, I mean, What's gotten the biggest takeaways you feel like you've gotten from fall camp and practice so far? Um, really just how everyone's coming together as a team and as a family. Last year, we were kind of button heads everywhere and, you know, really tried. We found ourselves eventually, but this year, just kind of going into fall camp, we've already found ourselves and know what we want to do and what our goals are. And so it's really awesome to see everyone really just getting together and striving for that one goal. John, I know you're coming off an ACL injury. First of all, how are you feeling, and how, how are you preparing for this upcoming season? I feel great, 100%, and I'm just ready to start the season off. Uh, this question for, for all three of you, whoever wants to answer. Uh, obviously, last season was exceeded expectations for you guys. We, we all know that. But now, coming back, second season now, especially after winning conference championship, expectations obviously are high here, but nationally, obviously, it's not as high nationally so what, what do you say to that moving forward and into the season uh, to those critics we don't get any respect uh, nobody respects us at all I just feel like we're just gonna keep working hard and competing every day because that's what it takes for us to win at the championship and we stay with a big family put everything inside of, of us and not worry about every, the outsiders I feel like that'll help a lot Terrence uh, talk about uh, the weight room and uh, do you guys feel like you're gonna be more physical on the offensive line this year uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Coach Youth, you know, uh, we started spring ball early, you know, just so we can focus uh, straight on lifting weights and uh, getting faster, getting stronger, getting bigger. And uh, just me personally, as an example, I gained about 10, 50 pounds since I did last year. And uh, I know the office line, everybody else has been working just as hard. So I feel definitely we're going to be more, even more physical up front, uh, even more dominant. Front three of y'all, do you, anybody know anybody at UTSA and what, what your excitement level about that first game against the Roadrunners? Um, being from San Antonio, you know, uh, it's a pretty big deal uh, to me just because um, I have a lot of pride in my city. You know, I just love the way that, um, you know, a football game can bring pretty much the whole city, you know, 30,000 plus, hopefully. You know, this is an amazing atmosphere. And um, I have a couple teammates from high school that are um, on the UTSA roster. So just a good, uh, just to see, you know, my, my little bros out there, you know, on the field, you know, we're not friends on the field, but uh, after I'll chop it up with them and stuff. How much is that on your guys' radar at this time? I mean, I know it's two weeks away, but 
do you guys think about that? Is that just a daily thing, or how does that kind of impact your routine, or does it? I mean, of course, we think about it, and we try not to focus on it too much. We're just focusing on what the coaches are telling us to do, and um, getting our jobs done and working at our craft every single day, but it's always going to be like you're always going to be thinking about it and obviously that's a big game for us and we want to do everything we can to play the best of our ability that game, but right now we're just focused on getting everything crafted down and honed in on what we need to focus on. Uh, Kel, you're on the cusp of breaking the all-time uh, tackles record, man. What would it mean to you if you're able to do that this season? Oh man, it'll be a dream come true. I feel like I've worked my butt off this whole time since I've been here just to get to this point. Uh, I'm be a senior this year, and I feel like it's just a big year for me and the whole team because we can make everything happen that we want because it's actually here and it's possible. Everything's possible for us. I know you guys obviously riding off the success of last year, but do y'all feel you have anything to prove this season? <laughs> we have everything to prove this season. Everyone thinks that last year just was an accident and that it wasn't really supposed to happen, kind of a fluke kind of deal. And we really, uh, you know, take that hard and we want to prove everyone wrong that it wasn't just a fluke and we're going to even come harder this year. Kyle, you mentioned respect and that nobody respects the, the club and all that, but obviously with UTSA coming in, I mean, people are thinking, oh, is going to wipe the floor with UIW. So how much is that coming in now to this game you, know, you want to prove, hey, we are this the, the team in San Antonio. It's just motivation, actually, because the CVS right across the street, they got UTSA gear right there. And so <laughs> everywhere you go in San Antonio, is nothing with UIW, nothing with black and red. And I feel like just the atmosphere is going to be amazing. And the, our family and our friends are all going to be there. So it's going to be a, a really good game.